Hey, little mom, my friends, Andang here in the silent street in the after the battle version of Minas Tirith. As you can see, the sky no longer has the dawnless day. This has been out since update 18.2, pretty much. And as you can see in this version of the city, you can go back in here to the silent street area, which has just a bajillion tombs of ancient Gondorian kings. I mean, it is just unbelievable. There are doors upon doors upon doors upon doors upon doors of just tombs. It is ridiculous. I mean, this this reminds me of like the Valley of the Kings from Egypt. It is just ridiculous how much stuff that there is here. And I mean, just tomb after tomb after tomb after statues of tombs. And it's just unbelievable how big this place is and that's the top of Minas Tirith over there so you can see just how high up we are inside this mountain this place is amazing I mean there's just so much stuff in here let's go ahead and look at the map and you can see I mean there's to the left and right there's like over here for example tombs all up there I mean this is just ridiculous how big this place is and I wish I had gotten here sooner I mean it is just unbelievable this place is huge and so much just loss and history and lore it's just amazing So that is the silent street we're now going to go ahead and head up to the seventh tier on the other tiers, I'll let you guys explore those for yourselves. There's just a bunch of dead bodies, basically. Nothing too interesting as far as actual lore goes. I think there's also another place where some of the Fellowship is, which I'll be visiting next, and then we'll head up to the top tier. So let's go ahead and do just that. All right, and here we are in the High Hall, and huge spoiler alert, here's Gandalf, and here is Faramir. Safe and sound, kind of. I mean, you know, aside from the whole not moving thing. But, you know, Myth Rendir's here. It'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So, that's pretty much the high hall. I think that there might be some other people in here, but, um, so much just wounded soldiers and stuff all over the city. Definitely recommend just walking around the city even if you don't do the repeatable quests which I don't even know if I'm going to do it's just cool to be able to walk around and see everything that's here I mean they've basically built a whole nother version of the city which I will show when I leave this area because it's interesting because you know only parts of the city are available hey here's Pippin and Mary oh my goodness look at that wow That is really, really cool. It's cool. And like little details like in the stable master, there's like Rohiric horses that are there and all these other just like cool little details that you wouldn't expect. But Turbine has definitely done a fantastic job fleshing out this place. Let's head up to the top tier of the city. As soon as we take a look at the map out here, of course. And like in the Houses of Healing, there's a ton of Rohirrim that are needing of healing. And I mean, just look at how nice and beautiful Minas Tirith looks in the sunlight. It is fantastic. And if we look at the map here, we can see that these lit up areas are the only places you can go. So, you know, you can't go to like probably 50% of the city, I'd say, but they did add in the silent street on the back end of things. And here we go up to the gate of the citadel. Let's actually get on our noble gray horse and make our way on up to the top tier of the city. Another cool thing is that when you walk into Minas Tirith now, there's actually both banners. The banner of uh, Gondor and the Banner of Rohan. It is just amazing. All this is here. I mean, look, no Dawnless 
day. That is just so great. Let's see here. There's probably stuff just all throughout here. I am sure. This is really cool. Alright, we're gonna head out this way. Let's see, I mean, look at the sky. It is that classic western Gondor sky of those wispy clouds that are just so awesome. Oh, that is so cool. You can see the ships. That is awesome. And all these, like, enemy campments. That is so cool. So cool. Bright sun here. As what time? Morning. Morning is the time, of course. There's camps out there too. That is just really cool. You can see just the city being <laughs> ravaged. And the gates, when you come in, are broken open, and just a lot of cool details like that. There's Osgiliath, which you can actually see here. That's just so cool. How far you can see from up here. Oh, that is awesome. There's still the Cracks of Thunder, not sure what that's about. I mean, look, Mordor is over there, and you can't even see. Cannot even see the dangers that come. I mean, it's just a fantastic day. Here in Gondor, that is so cool. You can see up most of the mountain. Oh, that is awesome. This is just so freaking cool. That's awesome. Alright, well we are definitely going to be going inside the Citadel. I want to know what the heck is going on in there. This is just really cool. We'll go inside there next. Let's see. Let's just go inside here. Inside the tower. So I've not been able to find any of the side quests. Let me know, chat room, and you know, people that are commenting since I'm not streaming this. Basically, where all these side quests are supposed to be, because I've not found them. Oh my goodness, Rokiric flags. Oh, this is gonna be good. We're really sad. Look at all those guards, all these Gondorian guards. Oh my goodness. That is awesome. So many freaking guards. Wow. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. So oh, cool. That is great. Hats off to Turbine. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. So yeah, let me know where these repeatable quests are. And I heard that there's actually instances that will be popping up as well. And I definitely want to do those because those sound pretty cool. I need to know how to get to them. Okay, let's head over to the Southern Great Guest House. I don't know if they actually changed anything in here, but you never know. This is just so cool. I mean, look, there's just Rohirrim right here inside Minas Tirith. 
with the Gondorians. That is just too cool. Really get the sense of just this united area. I mean, it's just awesome. Okay, still nothing up here. <laughs> Made your broken leg. Alright. Let's see here then. Went through that whole area. Let's head to the other side. So cool to me. Locked off. Okay, we won't go in there. Fair enough game. Let's head up this way instead. See if there's anything up here. Okay, well I guess that that is that. Still just awesome. But you just really get a sense of this whole city being united after that battle and just ready to go and take on whatever's next. I mean, it's just really, really cool. See if there's anything over here. Mithrond. <laughs> My goodness. This is huge. Nobody's here. That's crazy. Alright, wow. I cannot wait for the next update to Lotro. Cannot wait. Okay, it looks like the other direction there's actually a whole bunch of stuff. I think we've been in here before, but I'm going to go and look around nonetheless. Oh yeah, we've definitely been in here before. And the food prep area is seemingly more busy than ever. This is just awesome. Very cool. Alright, well I think that that's most of the stuff that is in this update. Thank you everyone so much for watching this just kind of overview video of the recent update to the game. I am super excited to see what is going to be coming next to Lotro as we head towards Mordor presumably. I mean that is exciting. Absolutely exciting. Alright. Let's be able to walk here. Alright. So awesome. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Alright, well, thank you everyone so much for watching, and I will see you again real soon. Or will I? We're going to go ahead and jump off the top of this front thing once more, just for the last final little time here. 
And I don't think you can head back by it. Well, let's see if there's anything back here. Nope. Neutron's over there. And let's head to the other side just to make sure. Mound. Come on. I mean, just look at that. So cool. You can see the top of the mountain from here. That is really cool. So awesome. That's right off the front and see what happens. Presumably it's the same thing that happens in the other version of the city, but I'm not so certain. But man, you really get the sense that there's just way less people, way less soldiers in this city. It's just unreal. Alright, let us make our way off the edge. much wind. And then hopefully we'll be able to view the front of the city. I mean, look at that! So much rubble and stuff. Oh, we are going way over. Okay. <laughs> Let's retreat. I mean, look at this place. Just a ravaged mess, and there are Rohirrim with sleeping bags all over this city. And the entrance here. So cool. Rohan and Gondor. Just all the siege equipment here is just laid to waste. That's just so cool. You can't go beyond this point, but man, that is awesome. Wow. Alright, well, I think that that definitely does do it for this episode. Thank you everyone so much for watching, whatever this video was, just a preview of this area in Gondor. I highly recommend everyone just to take your own time and walk around it. It's just a really an awesome area to Lotro. And once again, let me know where those new side quests are so that uh, I can have a look. But no dawnless day, so happy. Thank you everyone so much for watching and I'll see you again real soon for more content. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button below. And if you'd like to see more of my daily content, feel free to subscribe, and you'll be notified when that new content comes out. And also, if you'd like to help support my channel, and help me continue to create high-quality videos, feel free to support me on Patreon, and you can get all sorts of great rewards in the process. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another video.